All right, welcome back. Shaky camera action. But look at that hat, look at that hat. We love it. This is Gage Reality. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you don't mind, make sure you tell three friends about this channel. And if you have an idea of something you would like me to cover, drop it in the comment. All right, so we're here in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I'm about to check it out of the hotel well i've already checked out of the hotel but i'm gonna go back so i can wait on my taxi i'm across the street at a restaurant um getting some lunch here because uh they're not doing breakfast at this restaurant today this is senor baguette right so they don't really have a lot of authentic Puerto Rican food here. So it's kind of like a, a hodgepodge and stuff, I guess. But it's a cool place. Come by, check it out when you come. We have a lot of champagne, wines, beers, sandwiches. I'm gonna bite into this sandwich, but I wanted to do this video first. So we're sitting out, sitting outside. We're here on the strip. So you may hear some vehicles, some construction work, people going back and forth. Never mind that. Um, just kind of bear with me for the video. This would not be a long video. So, been here at San Juan. I've been posting videos and uh, photos to my um, social media, my Instagram, and my Facebook. If you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook, go over and follow Instagram, Gage underscore reality. And Facebook is Gage reality with two Y's. So, I got a couple of messages. And um, I've had some extra friends ask me, hey, did you bring the pistol, the gun, the glizzy, the Smith to the Wesson to Puerto Rico? And the answer to that is no, I did not bring the pistol to Puerto Rico or a rifle or a shotgun or any firearm for my personal protection while I'm here in this beautiful country. Well, not country, but U.S. territory. This beautiful city of San Juan, Puerto Rico, right? So, a couple of reasons why I did not do that, all right? Um, and I'll kind of get to that. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I have my concealed carry in Georgia. So, I concealed carry in Georgia with my state of residence. Um, but, and that gives me reciprocity in many states. I think it's like 35 states or something like that, right? And uh, you can go to the USCCA website, tell them I sent you, sign up for USCCA. They can show you the reciprocity map in states where you can conceal carry in. Uh, it's a phenomenal insurance program. Uh, I have it for me and my family. So if there's ever an issue and I need legal protection, uh, I have USCCA on my side. So that was a little commercial there. So anyway, uh, and I also have an Arizona concealed carry permit. Well, why do I have an Arizona concealed carry permit for a non-resident of Arizona? Because I live in Georgia. Well, Arizona, they have a great program where non-residents can get their concealed carry permit, right? You do it all by mail, as long as you can legally uh, concealed carry in your state and own a firearm, you're good to go, right? I go to Las Vegas, Nevada at least once a year, okay? And when I'm in Las Vegas, I cannot conceal carry my firearm, all right? So, uh, because uh, Las Vegas does not offer reciprocity to residents of Georgia, but they do offer reciprocity to concealed carry permit holders of Arizona. So now that I have my non-resident Arizona concealed carry permit, I can now carry in Nevada, right? So we, we all know about the, uh, the atrocious massacre at Mandalay Bay in Nevada a couple of years ago. It was horrible. I was doing a country music concert someone decided that they were going to take the lives and harm uh, innocent individuals, right? Um, I'm the type of person I carry everywhere I go, okay? 
and I don't open carry, I conceal carry, because I want to have the element of surprise. If you try to take advantage of me, you're going to be in for a rude awakening, okay? So, uh, I do. I carry in Nevada. I carry everywhere I go. But I did not carry here, and I'm going to tell you why, all right? I did not bring the glizzy to San Juan, Puerto Rico, because there's so much red tape. All right, with this being a U.S. territory, uh, they have uh, red tape to even be a concealed carry uh, permit holder here in Puerto Rico. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of the same stipulations in some of the other states, uh, 21 years or older, uh, past background check, um, all that other stuff. You can check it out on the Puerto Rican website. Um, but if you're a non-resident and you're flying in, I was here for three days, uh, staying at the Marriott Strayalis, I guess that's how you say it, man. Please forgive me if I'm not um, see, uh, pronouncing it right. Um, three days, uh, there's so much red tape I would have to go on through to bring it. I could have done it, but I didn't do it. Uh, number one, you have to fill out a couple of forms. Um, and forgive me if I if I get these forms wrong. The first one is a PPR 1062. Okay, that is a notice of intent to uh, carry firearms and ammunition, or bring firearms and, or ammunition into the country, into the territory. All right. So you have to notify the uh, police officials uh, within uh, five days of your travel. Okay, you have to fill that form out, right? Letting them know, okay? So you gotta wait on that to happen. And then also, they're gonna register your firearm, right? Once you fill out that form, they're gonna register it into uh, the, uh, it's like a um, concealed carry firearm registry that they have here or something like that. Uh, you can go to the USCC website, it'll explain that, and you can go to the website of Puerto Rico, they can explain that also. Then you have to declare your firearm to the uh, airline, right? Well, if you're gonna fly with your firearm, you have to declare it anyway. So when I fly to other states, I declare it. It's like basically doing a check bag, right? So you gotta check your bag um, with that firearm in it and go through all the procedures. I have a video explaining to you how to do that, all right? Um, and fly with your firearm. So check that out. Um, then once you do that, you have to fill out a form, which is a PPR 1055 with your airline that you're flying with and have them submit that paperwork to the officials in Puerto Rico, right? Saying that they will deliver your firearm. Basically delivering means they're picking you up in your state or the airport where you're at and bringing you to the San Juan Airport, all right? So once you do that, uh, all that red tape, all those steps, now you can fly with your firearm, all right? And, and you know, why would you wanna fly with your firearm? Why would you wanna bring it to another state or another territory? Well, first and foremost, you don't wanna be stuck, right? With your pants down and you get robbed in an unfamiliar place because you look like a tourist, right? I look like a tourist right now, don't I, right? Because you look like your food, you look like a victim, right? So you want to be able to protect yourself, first and foremost. Number two, you may have a crazy guy who knocks a window out in a hotel and starts shooting people. Number three, um, you may want to go to that area and hunt, right? So I'm not a big hunter. Uh, I don't claim to profess to know a lot about hunting, but you may want to take your firearm to hunt in those areas. So that's also a reason, right? Uh, number four, you know, you may be uh, transporting it there for a, for a show or, or a convention or something like that. So there's many reasons, but those are four reasons on why you want to travel with it, right? So if you want to come to Puerto Rico, if you're a resident of the United States uh, in one of the um, main, mainland states, I guess you want to say, you have to do all of that red tape and then you can travel with your firearm, right? I got a lot of trucks coming through right now, so I'm gonna end this video. 
I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for coming with me on this journey, for following me, for watching my videos. My channel is taking off now. I have new subscribers every day. You guys are leaving comments, you're asking questions, and I gratefully appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna do this together. I have so much in 2021 that I wanna do. Um, this is just a piece of the puzzle. I will be flying out to Las Vegas in June, so I will do a follow-up video to how I fly to Las Vegas with my firearm, all right? So you guys, please like, comment, subscribe, come back to the channel, let me know how am I doing, what are some of the things you want me to cover? We can go from there. And I'm out. Y'all have a good one.